Hey guys, Joe here. Instead of feeling sorry for myself, I decided to document my struggle with cancer in hopes of helping someone else. Join me in conquering this disease and together we will build a brand new you. Remember, there is hope, it's not the end. So, hey guys, Joe here. Um, I'm in this healing center, I guess. It kind of reminds me of a church in a way, I don't know. It's got like pews almost and some Catholic statues and whatnot. But it's really a nice place. I thought I would just come in here and make a video, give an update. So I started the first day of treatment and I actually I got through the whole day. It was yesterday, but I wanted to kind of just, you know, when I was fresh and had fresh thinking and I wanted to just kind of make a video and encourage people on this journey that uh, might be heading into that first day. The way I felt was like really apprehensive and just really nervous and like wondering, am I going to have, you know, some kind of issue or it everything went fine to a certain degree. I did have two reactions. Um, so the first, the first day I got a bunch of stuff. Um, I took some prednisone, which is a steroid um, that actually does help me breathe better and feel better. And then uh, some ibuprofen they gave me through a bag intravenous drip. They also gave me um, a bunch of saline, kind of hydrate and flush, you know, flush out the line here from the port, which is here. And then I got my, I got my bag here with my pump and my chemo. I'm on day two and three and fours uh, concoction, which I'm not even gonna try out. Uh, I'll put the, what I'm, actually the protocol in, in the description below, but. So um, they gave me that stuff and they gave me the Rituxin is the first day. And that's the first, uh, supposed to be the heavy, heavy hitter. So I'm in the outpatient all day. Um, I got orientation, which was very thorough and nice. They went ahead and uh, explained everything. You get a big packet of papers and they, they explain every drug and every possible side effect and all the things you should do and do's and don'ts and just everything really thorough, really nice people here in the center. Uh, it's Ryman Cancer Center. And so, uh, you know, I've been opposed. You've seen my other videos. I spoke about this before. I've been opposed to chemotherapy since I witnessed uh, Bruce Lasniak. Um, you can see that in my in my video playlist as well, the Bruce Lasniak story. But after I watched Bruce go through chemotherapy and just really just, it's obviously not the same now. This is 30... 30 years, 35 years ago, something like that. So it's a different ball game now. They've really got things a little bit more figured out. And uh, I don't think the damage to the body is quite as heavy as it was then. And he uh, really, really went through some serious stuff. And you can see about that in that video. But anyways, so the Rituxin, so they tell me if you have a hypersensitivity and you feel something odd, let us know. So the first thing that I have is a, uh, suddenly my ears, both my ears are starting to like feel funny, like a uh, double earache coming on all of a sudden, and then funky sort of discomfort and taste in my throat, both sides of my throat. And I, I tell the nurse, I'm like, hey, something's not, <laughs> something's not driving here. And she's like, well, what's up? I tell her, she's like, okay. So they turn off the drip, they flush, give me more saline. They give you more of the uh, prednisone steroid at that moment. I mean, obviously none of this stuff is good for the body. None of it is organic, it's all chemical. And, uh, but I do feel some uh, results already. Just feel a little bit of uh, improvement in breathing and cough and not in voice not right now, but 
this morning my voice was good. So anyways, they do all that. They wait about 20 minutes. They let this settle down. Sure enough, it goes away. They turn the drip back on. Then a little later, I would say maybe another hour later, I started having another sort of a symptom. Um, I got like itchiness in the back of my scalp and um, something else. I can't think of what else it was now. A little blurriness or I forget exactly what it was. A little bit flushed as well. So then they come over, they do the same procedure. They back it down, stop the drip, flush with saline, they give me prednisone and something else at that point. They gave me, uh, I think it was Claritin maybe? No, something else. I'll have to put that in the description too. But whatever, they gave me something else. And same thing, it went away. They started the drip again. And then I was good to go, smooth sailing till the end. And meanwhile, all this time, I'm really not feeling anything. Um, and all, of course the stuff builds up. And from others that I spoke to, cycles two and three are more of a challenge. So I'm praying through that. I'm doing some other of my natural stuff I've spoken about. Trying to minimize, you know, trying to minimize the, the effects here. Um, and um, I'm feeling confident that that's gonna be the case, right? So um, that is day one. Then they give me the pump, right? It's a bag containing um, another uh, another intravenous bag of um, three different medications. I like to call them all poison, but apparently they're medications. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I mean, I've explained before, I'm against all this stuff, really. But I think I got to really change my tune because... When your heart's squeezed, your lungs are pinched off, and your and your uh, esophagus is being squeezed off, and you can't breathe anymore. Um, yeah, Yahweh, the Creator, will lead you to the hospital pretty quickly. So I'm sorry I'm looking up, but it's like easier to talk. So I'm trying to make myself in the most comfortable position to, you know, give you guys some uh, an update and really. I want to. I want to encourage somebody, man. This whole thing has been a really crazy ride and a journey I've been on by myself, trying to do natural healing stuff. And uh, you know, I have confidence that all that stuff will work if you have nodules and small tumors. But when you got a 14 centimeter mass in your chest, it's like from here to over here, pushing my lung over and everything. You're gonna need a little more, I think. I think you are. And with lymphoma, praise be to Yahweh, I didn't have any spread. Maybe it was the natural stuff I was doing, whatever the case, but normally with lymphoma, whoosh, it spreads all over. So I'm really blessed that way. It's really encouraging. Rick Simpson oil, I think that had something to do with it. You can look into that. And um, just, you know, the diet, cleaning up, well, I actually it was, Pretty, eating pretty clean anyways, but you know, I'm trying to stick with a mo mostly whole food, plant-based diet. It's really important. It's important to get away from the sugars, which I think I uh, didn't do such a great job of because I ate a lot of fruit, thinking that uh, that was all right, but a lot of sugar in fruit. So some areas that I didn't do justice in that I think ultimately my uh, lactic acid levels were high. So if you're acidic and you're taking in a lot of sugar, you're not defeating the tumor as best you can. So that's one area that you should be really, um, you can look at my other videos about the diet and all that stuff and get more insight if you, if you desire. I'm just here trying to help somebody, man. That's all. So day one, Nothing to fear except fear itself, right? Don't be fearful, man. 
It's not the end. It doesn't have to be the end. You can fight, man. You can have a good outlook. Keep your head up. Be positive. Watch the documentary Heal. Forget about all the sort of new age spiritual stuff in there. Read your Bible. Pray for the Father to pour his spirit out upon you and give you a desire. Because he will. And if you're not into that, that's no skin off my back or no skin off my teeth. We can still be friends and brothers and sisters. It's just my way of life that I think is right. And uh, maybe not for everybody. So, um, but be encouraged. I love you, man. We will talk soon. I'm just trying to think here if I may have forgotten anything. Nurses are excellent. Um, the nutrition, you know, it's kind of out the window at the moment. Well, I've explained this before, but I'm simply just trying to get 2,500 calories a day. I lost 40 pounds in the beginning. I was intermittent fasting, doing things that I know are good for the body. Just wasn't enough, but I lost 40 pounds. And now I'm at a point where I can't safely lose any more weight. It'll be bad. So I got to get these calories in. I've reintroduced little chicken, little fish, um, even some garbage food, to be honest. Um, because basically, with the appetite that I've been having, experiencing, if you can think of something that's good, then you better eat it while it's think while you feel it's good, while it sounds good. Um, like I have my daughter's mother bringing me a a tray of uh, her famous tuna casserole because normally I wouldn't eat that. I don't trust the fish for um, not being contaminated with radioactivity from the ocean. I don't eat gluten, but I'll take some digestive enzymes and I'll eat some of that and I'll deal with it just to get the calories. Um, if you're not skinny, then you don't have to really worry about that. But that's just one thing um, to add to all of this, but day one, man, no big deal. Don't be scared. Just if you got, uh, you want to reach out to me and you want to, someone to talk to or just ask questions or whatever, man, that's what this is about because this is not the end, man. It is the beginning of something new. Embrace the challenge, overcome it, become a new person. I'm not going to cry, but Fight, man. Fight. It's not the end. We'll see you next time.